What's going on everybody, TFG Aviation Vlogs here, bringing you guys yet again another video today guys, and today I have, as you guys can tell by the title, a, an extremely special video today. Um, I will be showing you guys, or I guess showing and announcing my new series. So this new series is called um, Retired Review Tuesdays. Sounds a little cliche, I know, sounds a little standard, but, um, and yes I do know that cliche means standard and what everybody else does. I, I know my vocabulary, um, but yeah, guys. So um, basically, what I do in this um, series is okay. So I have three three models that I have retired over the last three years of my collecting, almost four now. Um, <clears throat> and so what I'm going to be doing is I kind of want to get those back into like the videos, but I'm not going to take them, or I guess I will take them out of their boxes. But I don't want them on the airport because a they either don't belong at the airport, b they're in, in an old library or C, they just are broken. So, my first video, or yeah, I guess the first episode of this um, series will be a review of the American Airlines BAC 111 Series 400. And I retired this about a year ago, um, next month, so about 11 months, I believe, um, maybe a little over. So, yeah, guys, that'll be the first model. And this series will only run for three episodes, so for only th for three weeks. So this week, next week, and then the week after will be the only three weeks of this of this um, series. But I think that's all to say, guys. So um, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So before we even get started, or before I even show you guys the model, which you guys probably probably catch a glimpse of it here and there because I can't really cover it up forever, uh, or I guess until I um, finish reviewing the box. But we're gonna get started with the box. Um, this is a well. Before I get started, this is a very beautiful model. Um, I do wish they still, um, well, I guess I don't wish them, they probably would never still use them because they're loud and, yeah. <laughs> and, but I wish I could still use this in my airport updates. Unfortunately, they are, um, they do not fly them anymore and they retired, they were, they were retired actually I think about 40, 40 years ago, maybe 50, I don't know. Um, but it, obviously it's all inside the flap and I'll probably end up reading that eventually because I get curious about some stuff. So, let's get right into the review. Now, sorry about the, um, the... Uh, flash right there. I can't really do much about it. But there you have Gemini Jets, made for collectors by collectors, a computer-generated image of the model. AA, American Airlines, BAC 111 Series 400. Look inside. One 400-scale die-cast model aircraft. Gemini Jets, one to 400-scale die-cast model, highly collectible, severe quality, as reels gets features, realistic middle landing gear, detailed printed graphics with rolling rubber tires. Gemini Jets, another, or a 2D picture of the aircraft, BAC 111 Series 400, item, or 1 400 scale diecast model, item number is GJAAL116. Up to the top of the box, you have Gemini Jets Adult Collectible model, model. Warning contains small parts not suitable for children under 14 years. The bar put right there. Gemini Jets, um, a 2D picture of the aircraft, BAC 111 Series 400. One to four hundred scale diecast model. I, and then the atom number is, or I already, I already told you guys that, so you guys did not need to know that. Um, on the back of the box, as you can see, this is a. This box does not shut very well. Um, that was my fault whenever I shut it last, like, like almost a year ago. Um, so there you have the aircraft climbing right there. Actually, not really in a very steep climb, but it, it is climbing. Gemini jets, um, Gemini jets as real as they get. Features, all that stuff. Pause if you'd like to read about Gemini jets. New aircraft being added, added monthly. The old American Airlines logo because this was released before they had the American US Airways merger. Made in China, and this was a very old model actually, the 2008 Gemini Jets Las Vegas, Nevada release. So this is almost, so this model is eight, no, nine years old, excuse me. Um, but it is still in, mine is still in good con, bleh, good condition, and I sh and I'm, I'm actually. Okay, guys, um, I'm just going to pause the review for a second. So I'm thinking about buying, like, classic models um, instead of, like, the newer ones. Because has is, is this, like, just me? Or has, like, the models, like, like the, like new ones, like, like um, the Delta and Current Library, gone up a lot? Because I was on Amazon before I made this video, and they were, like, 40 bucks for a model. And, I mean, even back just in, like, May of 2016, they were, like, like 29, 25. They were... I mean, the price has gone ve um, steadily up, like, really fast. So I'm just thinking, and, like, the older models are not as much. I'm either thinking to start buying used from eBay 
or um, buying the classic models. I don't know. Comment down below um, what you got, what you guys think I should do. But yeah, let's actually continue with the review. Okay, guys. So here I got the aircraft, um, and as you guys can tell, it is very shiny. Um, still, the I guess American must have kept the shiny logo for quite a while because I remember, or I don't remember, but um, back in the 80s they did have the um, library that they had just back 10 years ago. So, and this um, particular aircraft was delivered to American Airlines in 1966. I'm not sure when it was retired though. I think it says, um, let me read for a second. So it looks like that um, the BAC 111 company, I'm not sure what they'd be called, um, handed over the production of the BAC 111 Series 400 in, or maybe just the BAC series in general, over to a um, company in Romania in 1979, and, and it looks like they seized um, making all aircraft in 1988. So I don't know exactly when this aircraft was retired, but I did try to get you guys with that information, but I'm sure if you just go on Google, you can type it up and find it. But guys, enough yapping, let's get right into the um, review. So we're going to zoom up onto the left side of the aircraft. I have already done a review of this, um, but that one was not very good. Um, this one may not be either, I don't know, it depends on how you guys think. Or if you guys think my videos are good, I guess, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> enough yapping, try to get started. Okay, so there you have the nose of the BAC-111, which has the white stripe around the end of it. The cockpit windshield, 400 Astrojet. Uh, there's the L1, you guys can't really see that. And then it says American Airlines right there. Um, that is a red stripe, actually. I'm not sure why it's coming up as orange on my camera. No landing lights, unfortunately, but that is um, okay due to this model is, is almost 10 years old. Red navigation light. But I am actually very pleased with the wing details. I mean, it is actually not terribly bad. Then on the back there, uh, or not on the back, on the wings, you have the, the one over the wing emergency exit. Then you have airlines right there, as I said. The very small, like I find these extremely small um, engines for the BAC 111. I'm gonna grab a CR, or at the end of this, after I'm done with like the actual review, I'm gonna grab a ERJ 145 and I'll show you guys um, the difference in engine size. And then you have the tail, the T tail with AA, um, with the Eagle, and then it says Airlines. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to the uh, right side of the aircraft, which, yeah, I, I always say the same thing, so I'm not gonna say it this time. Um, cockpit windshield, Astro, or 400 Astrojet L1, no, R1, excuse me. Nose landing gear right there, which, um, the nose one does not roll, but I believe the uh, main do. Uh, cargo door right there, or luggage, I guess. And then this actual oh, green navigation light over here with the red part back there. And I don't know much about this aircraft, so I'm not sure if that was, like, an air with the model. I don't think it is, um, but, yeah, I don't know much about this model, so, or this, uh, uh airplane in particular, so I don't know. Maybe it could be in there. Then you have the American Airlines, and you guys can finally see the red. I don't know why it's showing up on this side, not the other one, but yeah. Uh, one over the wing emergency exit, and the guys, this does have one piece wings, so it doesn't look as nice as two uh, as two piece, but yet they did just start putting two piece into production probably about a year ago. And you have the back luggage, down, luggage door down there um, in front of the engine. Um, yeah, and then you have the tail again, which actually you can kind of distinctly see the rudder, so that's good. That was good um, design of from Gemini Jets. Okay, guys, so I grabbed the United Express Embraer ERG-145, and, and as you guys can see, the um, engine size is quite different considering the fact that this model was a, like, not an Express jet. I don't think it was anyway. And then this aircraft is an Express jet, so I find that that's probably why they um, ceased um, using these aircraft due to like the small engines they are probably loud like they all were in the early days of jet engines um probably guzzled gas like nothing else so i guess there probably was a reason why they took these out of production but still a very very cool aircraft all right guys so that's going to be it for this review and this episode of retire review tuesday so i hope you guys did go on to enjoy this i know it's not much but i just felt like i needed to start something new <clears throat> on my channel, so I decided I'd, I was gonna start a kind of a short new series and see how it went. So hopefully this, these videos do go good. If not, I'll keep uploading them until the series is done in three weeks, obviously, because it's a very short series. But guys, um, I'm gonna end this video, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Guys, um, subscribe for daily videos. I always do the daily videos. I'm on an uploading streak. I've been doing it for 
like about a week and a day. I think actually no, a week and two days, so nine days. So that's pretty good. Um, but even if I don't upload daily, expect videos every other day at the very, very least. Because I don't know, I just feel like making videos right now. I I don't know. They're just way. I, I don't know. Um, I'll have to explain this in, in another video why I chose to upload daily. I don't know. Maybe that'll be another video sometime. <clears throat> but guys, I'm gonna end this video so, just so you don't so you guys don't go too long. Please do remember to subscribe though, guys, because 66% of my viewers are not subscribed. Yeah, I'm sad. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Come back to the Most High God. Leave the ways of your oppressor.